Hey everyone, Arshako here, welcome back to Let's Play Terraria. In the last part, I had a very special guest with me, and uh, she was a little camera shy, but that's okay. We still had a pretty good old time, so I attempted to find where the meteorite landed, but then I kind of screwed that up. So I'm going to go ahead and meet you guys past the corruption. I don't even know if that's where the meteorite landed, per se. But there's a chance, so uh, at the very least, we can at least get past the corruption and see what is on the other side. So meet you guys when we get there. Boom! Wow, I feel like a pro. I feel like a pro. That was pretty good. That was awa I. <laughs> I. That was I. Oh great, and the bower. Come at me, bro. Yeah, totally missed Murray. Come back here, you swine. Nice. These are that all and they're like the dolphins of corruption, you know? Anyway though, we made it back to well not back. Uh okay, so apparently there is a desert connecting Oh. Well really? Usually uh per like per each world, um like I'm playing on a medium size map. I guess you know probably should have told you guys that first episode, but whatever, um, usually for medium sized maps, you'll have two, to, like two is usually like the standard, but you might have three corruption areas, I, I guess there are three in this case, um, I guess there are gonna be like three areas, areas of corruption, so, but usually they're a lot more spread out, I mean, that, that's kind of ridiculous, so, I mean, I, <laughs> I guess I'll just meet you guys at the end of this one, because uh, that was very short-lived, to say the least. Also, screw you, people, man. God. Oh my God. No. Here we go. All right. The. Oh, nice. Found star. Alright, so, um, if you couldn't hear, we have gotten out of the corruption, or, well, no, uh, we, we've gotten out of the corruption, it might be hard to tell because the corruption music is still playing, but, okay, there we go. Now we just have the regular music. Pretty good. Uh, now, sorry if the brightness is kind of bad, um, I, something I can't really help, so, again, my ap my sincere apologies for that, but, uh, anyway, I swear to god, if we've come all this way, and there's no meteorite, I'm gonna be really ticked, because that means we're, we were supposed to go the other way, and I would have been played like a goo. Also, uh, I kind of ran out of wood platforms, because I went, I went ahead, and I didn't completely plug up all the chasms in the corruption, but I did go ahead and fill up most of the gaps with wood platforms, just to make it easier on me, so I wouldn't accidentally get knocked into a hole. Staying eater of souls, man. I'm telling you something. Okay. Is this... Oh! Oh! <gasps> nice! Let's see, what do we got? Ooh! One boomerang! Alright, so, uh, we're gonna get better items in the game. Um, but, I'll, I'll show off what this does. That's why I wanted to break that chest, because again, why make your chests when you can just find them for free? Am I right, or am I also right? Yes. The answer is yes. And yes. Also, nice. We're just getting pots for days. <laughs> it's a druggie's dream come true. I don't con- I condone the use of drugs, kids. And parents, if- I- Well, actually, I don't know. What? That's what you do. Go home. Oh. Okay. I don't know why I'm <laughs> going down here. Are oh, wow! Another chest! Okay. Nice. Well, I guess this is a good idea. We're gonna get awesome stuff. Wow, 66 glow sticks. That will definitely tide us over. Sun explosion? Okay. Not too shabby. If anything, the glow sticks were definitely worth it, so... Yeah, overall, I mean, this... I, I, I realize it's kind of an aside, and I realize our main goal is supposed to be the meteorite, but, I mean, this isn't too bad, right, guys? At least we're getting some pretty useful stuff. Uh, also, I'm, I think I'm really low in gel. Yeah, I only have four gel, so... 
Uh, I would love it if it was daytime and I actually could uh, kill some more slime. Oh no, glow stick, no! Oh wait, am I out tor- oh. Okay, we only have 12 torches. <laughs> yeah, I could definitely use some slimes right about now. Ooh. Jellyfish? Oh no, that's <laughs> glow stick, okay. Okay. Got some silver. Not too shabby. If anything, I could definitely use the silver to complete our armor, which I am going to do at some point. Rest assured, I will be making all the armor. So, <gasps> another chest! Man, we're just. Ooh. Okay, what's in this one? Not too bad. Okay. Ooh, shine potion. Nice. That'll be useful. Um. Well, maybe if we run out of torches. Oh! You know what? We have the orb of light, too, so. Okay. <laughs> we're kind of. Kind of getting low on inventory space. I guess, like, I don't need the acorn. Probably could do without the lens, so. I mean, we can always uh, consolidate some of the items, but. Eh. Eh, we'll just. Oh! <gasps> Slimes! Jerry! Gel! I need it. I need it. Okay, so this episode may have just turned into a uh, let's go randomly exploring, but eh, whatever. Nice job. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Mr. Bro oh, a life crystal and gold down. Oh my god, this is just a ooh. This is good, guys. This is good. I'm glad I'm glad I decided to just out of the blue come down here. Very nice. Wow. Okay, uh, I think when we get 200 health, um, I, I might be wrong on that. I'm, I'm pretty sure, though. It's, uh, two, ooh, goldfish. I want you. Goldfish. Hello. Oh, okay. Um, I believe it's when we get 200 health, we'll be able to spawn the nurse. And basically, you just... Jellyfish, go home. You're drunk. Um, if you get... Yeah, okay. Thoughts. I need to finish them. Um, if you get 200 health, you can spawn the nurse, and if you pay her a certain fee, it used to be, like, really high, um, but I think now it's, like, a pretty reasonable price, she will instantly heal your, heal your HP, because I think if you die, you respawn with, like, 50 HP, so, like, if you want to get right back into the groove of things, also, uh, jellyfish are kind of flying there, if you want to get back into the groove of things, it'll definitely, um, take you a while to actually, like, heal up, so... Definitely something to consider. Anyway, though, okay, we're, we're starting to get to, it like, a dead end. So I'm going to use you, Orbalite. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, God. Oh, God, are we going to make it? Oh, God. Okay, there we go. We're starting, yeah. We got to pretty much a dead end, at least for my standards, a dead end. So I'll go ahead and meet you guys back up at the surface. Because we actually went pretty deep. Yay. Dun, dun, dun. Alright, and we're back. So, on onward with what we were originally trying to do. That is finding the meteorite. Will we do it at, by the end of this episode? Who freaking knows at this point? Because, uh, I don't know about you guys, but quite frankly... I'm starting to get the impression that we might have to go the other way to find this meteorite. Which is not happy fun time. It is uh, sad times at Richmond High. Indeed. Um, hmm. Oh, well, there's a slime. Okay. I'm also, I'm surprised, uh, I'm surprised we're not running into, like, I don't know, like another snow biome or the jungle. I, I don't even know. There's not a whole lot in terms of a variety. On this world. At least uh, going to the left. We got corruption. Like <laughs> half a screen of desert and more corruption. And then whatever biome this is, like forest or whatever. Also, these are really tall trees. I'm gonna go ahead and maybe chop down a couple of them, because heaven knows. Or that's not the right phrase. What am I what am I even trying to say? I just need lots of wood. Also, I have like a full inventory. I don't use grenades, acorns, forget that. Okay, let's get all this wood. Thank you, and goodnight. Also, yeah, if I, um, if we actually do stumble upon this meteorite, I am not going to have much room for it. <laughs> Ooh, that's not going to be good. Oh, well. Oh, well. All right, now, uh, something to keep in mind. Um, or actually, you know what, I, I'll just, I'll discuss some tips for the meteorite, for the meteorite, for the meteorite when we actually get to it. So, um, 
Never mind, I retract what I was about to say. I'll just save it for when we actually get there. Which, <laughs> maybe never, but you know what? At the very least, okay, I actually need day blooms. Uh, you actually use them in a, a lot of potions, so, you know, let's go ahead. Oh my god. Oh uh, yeah, I want the seeds, okay, goodbye dirt. Um, I actually forgot my train of thought, actually. <laughs> That's really what's going on in my head right now. Oh, a lot of potions use day blooms. So, anytime you see those, like, little daisy things, just get the poop out of them, okay? Very useful. So, what are you? What are you? Purple slime? Have we even seen one of those yet? Huh. At the very least, we do need some gel, so... Much welcome. Also, oh no, orb of light! You're gonna go away soon, I'm gonna be sad. Oh, okay. Okay! You know, it, you're just having a good old time when you get your butt handed to you by slimes, of all things. Hmm. This biome just wants to go on forever. Oh, okay, we're on to another desert. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. Again, grappling hook is your best friend. You know, since I have some water leaves, might as well, anytime you see those little shrub things too, um, go ahead and get them. I, off the top of my head, I don't actually know what potion to use water leaves. Um, I know at least one. Like, I don't know the name of it, but I, I, I recall using water leaves in at least one. So, that's the thing. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, well, it is, I think, pretty official you guys see this building whatever you do do not go inside at least in the beginning this is the biomes or not biome. this is the world's dungeon now if you come at nighttime and talk to this old man my master cannot be summoned under the light of day uh if you talk to him at night you will summon the uh second to last boss i mean really you can you can fight these bosses in any order but it's recommended you got you like save this boss for later. Um, you'll fight a Skeletron. He's basically just a floating skeleton head with two hands, and oh my god! <laughs> if you if you are not prepared, he will whoop your butt. As with really like any boss in this game, I guess, but especially Skeletron. He's intense. Now, uh, the problem with the dungeon is if you don't defeat Skeletron, if you try entering the dungeon, basically Skeletron's head, like it has a different name than Skeletron's head, but basically the, the sprite of Skeletron's head will come in and chase you. And it's pretty much instant death, it can teleport through walls, it'll follow you if you go back home. Um, like it, it won't stop chasing you until it kills you, so something to keep in mind. Also. Once you reach the ocean, this is the ocean, you've pretty much hit the end, so, okay, yep. It's official, the meteorite is not to the left. That is unfortunate. We spent the, we spent the entire episode, we got a lot of actually pretty good stuff. But, I mean, and, and saying a lot is an understatement, I mean, we filled up our inventory with all just kinds of goodies. But we didn't find the meteorite, which was the goal. So, that's gonna be it for the- ooh, that was cool. That's gonna be it for the day. Thanks for watching me play. Um, at the very least, I mean, I'm glad we got to see everything that's on the left. And I'm glad we know where the dungeon is. But, I guess the next episode, we're gonna head to the right. And then, hopefully, actually figure out where the meteorite landed. So, until then, see you next time.